when you are a pseudo intellectual streamer there's a little game you're gonna like to play and it's the game of how do we defend <laughs> the worst thing possible right like take a topic like pedophilia or child porn or something like that something we can all unanimously i would hope agree that is bad all right everyone agrees child porn is bad it's it's, it's disgusting despicable uh pedophiles uh burn them at the stake you know we all agree with this right here's the thing all right why do we agree, and this is like the Superman games, why do we agree that this is bad? You might just say, well, pedophilia is bad because it's bad, right? But that's not an argument. We need to have a moral, uh, maybe even a legal reason or whatever. Let me play this clip right here. Still don't care. I still think that like um, zoophile porn, like drawn stuff, it should be 100% legal. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, uh -oh. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography <laughs> is illegal. Actual child pornography. Well, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad you clarified that one. Let's hear that one one more time. Hot take. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to moral or legal argument for why the possession of child porn is bad. If you're unaware, this is a socialist streamer, Vosh. Uh, now. I've had uh, one of his buddies, uh, Xander Hall, on the show a couple times, and one of the things we talked about were some old questionable clips of his that we'll go over and re-review for a second. However, this new clip is just blown up on social media. I, to my knowledge, I haven't seen this clip before specifically, and unlike the other clips that we'll go over in just a second where it's very clear that you know they are, in fact, taken out of context, I think this clip right here, no matter the context, just sounds terrible. I mean, he's literally... Uh, <laughs> justifying it i guess you know i've seen a lot of people call him a pedophile too on social media i'm not going there um for obvious reasons uh first of all he could sue me <laughs> that that's a pretty you know but second of all it goes beyond that i'm very i'm very sensitive to you know th just throwing out the word pedo i had that shit thrown at me all the time even before i turned 18 uh, people on the internet were just throwing that label at me. And of all the labels on the internet, I find pedo to just be, you know, when you're just throwing that around baselessly, I just find that to be disgusting. So I'm not even going there before you think that this is some video where we're just like, oh, he's a pedophile, look at this clip. No, 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 we're not doing that here. That, 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 there's no, that's, that will not be taking place on this channel. Rather, instead, I just want to point out just th really the obvious is that this clip right here is just uh, an optics nightmare. If there was ever a clip of me, for instance, and I'm not a big YouTuber streamer at all, I'm still nobody. I'm an ant uh, in, in the pile or whatever on YouTube. Uh, but if there was a clip of this that existed where I'm just like, well, you know, I can't really think of any good legal or moral uh, uh, reasons why owning CP is bad, that would just end me. That'd be the end of my career right there. Uh, the end of my very small career. That would just that would be over. It'd be it for me. That that that's it. Um, needless to say, this clip is terrible. I just don't understand why you would hypothetically like. <laughs> I don't understand why you'd bring this up. I can think of a pretty good moral argument off the top of my head. Uh, the fact that you know the uh, if you live in a society that allows the possession of this stuff, that also encourages the market of it as well, which obviously encourages the abuse of children, um, the abuse that is necessary to produce child porn all right pretty reasonable argument in my opinion i mean i don't want to you know pat myself on the bat or uh, on the back or whatever but uh, that's the first thing that comes out to me other than the obvious argument which is not really an argument but just the obvious statement that pedophilia bad cp bad do i need to justify that no it's we all we all agree that this is uh, that these are objectively bad things and there, th these are the games like the pseudo intellectual streamers like to play. Like Destiny used to do this stuff, right? Where Destiny would take a topic that nobody wanted to defend, such as incest, and he would defend it theoretically to debate uh, in a debate with an opponent that he felt was so low IQ. That being no bullshit, uh, an opponent that he felt was so low IQ, so stupid that he could pick the worst topic possible and still win the argument. Uh, I feel like that's maybe what this clip is. Maybe he's just being edgy. This is early in his career. Maybe he's just being edgy to get a reaction or something. I don't know. I don't know. But again, we're not calling him a pedo on this channel. There would be no place here for that shit. Um, 
I just think the clip is just horrible. <laughs> it's just terrible, which is not a hot take from mine. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure this out right here. Now, it should be, we should clarify here. You know, this is his current stance from his YouTube channel uh, from two months ago. So my position is that I am anti-child porn. I don't think it's a good thing to have it. My frustration is I feel like there are other things that are bad for similar reasons that child porn is bad, but people don't really care about that. So l let me run it through with you. Uh, why is child porn bad? Not creating child porn, I mean, but like uh, purchasing it. Okay, this is from a call with his debater. So that's his current stance. He says it's bad. Uh, however, we care so much about it being bad over other things like such as child labor that we don't really care much about. Um, so if we care so much about, you know, child porn being a bad thing, we should also focus that energy on other things, uh, other abuses of children is basically what he's saying, which is a reasonable, sound argument. The thing is, is that when you have clips like this, which I know this is the famous clip, he's, re he's responded to this a thousand times, but when you have clips like this right here, and I'll play this right now. Oh, is it not going to work? Uh, let me refresh. You were to, so, you know, there's pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? Even though mm -hmm. they're directly supporting child rape? Yeah, I think that's, it's, uh, it's hypocritical. If, if I, because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves. If I can do that and that's legal that's... and no one's going to call me out in my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. Okay, look, um, I, I think there's levels to this. So I wouldn't equate buying a computer to buying child pornography. So the argument here is that, uh, and b bear with me here because this stuff is very confusing. Uh, but the argument here that he's saying is that uh, if we're if we're totally fine purchasing computers that were mined by child slaves in Africa, then we should have no issue with child porn. That's what he's saying. Now, his stance is that he's anti-child labor as well as anti-child porn. Um, but if you support one, you by default have to support the other i could be butchering his argument there but i hope you understand the basis of what he's saying now a better way to word that argument would have been listen we all agree child porn is bad right so why don't we also uh talk about the uh child slavery and child labor and in Africa that produces so many of the products that we purchase today without a second thought. Why don't we think about that? Why don't we talk about that? Why don't we divide, uh, develop solutions to that or talk, or at least just make it more of a public issue? That would have been a better way to word that argument rather than the very easy to clip moments here uh, where these arguments just, you know, are, you know, people can clip these and throw it up on Twitter and, you know, pull a different interpretation from that. This recent clip, though, uh, that just blew up, I just, there's no way, I don't know. <laughs> I just see no defense for this. Uh, it's just terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. Uh, but I do want to, you know, I, I want to be as fair and objective as possible here. Uh, you know, and, and instead of just screaming, oh, pedo, pedo, I want to at least, you know, look at these clips for what they are. You know, this clip, I understand what he's saying here. It just sounds terrible. And then this clip right here, this is just, this, this is just brain damage. This is just terrible. Anyway, that's my take on this whole stuff. Hopefully I was able to break it down for you guys in a formula that was, uh, where I could explain it in what my, in, in my opinion, the fairest way possible while also still, uh, condemning it because it's just, like I said, it's just a nightmare. It's an optical nightmare. Um, if you want to defend fringe topics for the sake of it, you got to be careful with this shit. You got to be extra. You got to know people in my chat are going to clip this. I got to word this in a way that is impossible uh, for it to be taken out of context like that. You got to be very careful with your optics when you do this type of stuff. Um, and I guess some people learn that the hard way. Anyway, guys, you guys hear the music. My name's Aki RFC. I'm going to get out of here. Leave a like on the video. I'll catch you guys later for the stream tonight. Peace out, everyone.